in this video we're going to focus on well we have this clickable effect now but if you look very carefully now our mouse cursor has converted into an intuitive way understanding that this is really clickable because the mouse cursor converts and you can see here now the way it works so this video or at least the code that we're going to use is based on a code from another video so make sure you watch that specific video first i will put it in the comment section below where you have the link of that specific one in this video we will continue on where we left off in the previous video what we're going to do is we're going to focus on change the cursor on hoover on a pi and donut chart in chart.js so right now you can see here we have this clickable item but of course it's not clear that this is clickable because if i click on this then you can see it starts to load and if you click on this here then it will start to load all these kind of uh, websites however the mouse is not matching along so let's start to focus on creating this cursor that is suitable and shows intuitively how to do it or at least that if you, if you hover over it you will see that this is a clickable item so to do this we need to go here in the options and what i'm going to show you here is a way step by step and eventually i'm going to show you another way that is very uh, short but the focus will be first on to understanding this so what we're going to do here is we're going to use a on hoover effect here so we say on hoover which is a special built-in callback function for charges which is absolutely phenomenal and in here what we need is basically two items we need here the event which is basically the hoover and comma chart element and the chart element is referring to these items here these pie slices is also called a arc in canvas so this is an arc and then we have these elements can be arc can be bars can be points etc etc so all kind of options are basically possible but these are what we call the elements which makes sense of course so what we're going to do here is we're going to use a function here or a, a fun uh, arrow function operator and then what we're going to do is the following what i want to do first is to make sure you understand what these were represent so we're going to get here a console.log and in this console.log we're going to just paste this in here and once we did this we want to also get the other one which is the chart element put it in there save that and refresh all right so it doesn't work because we forgot a comma here make sure you have a comma here save this now and refresh now it works open up the developer tab and then if you hover over you can see here what happens the moment you hover over on the canvas it instantly understands exactly what uh, where you are how many pixels etc etc you can see here it starts to move all these pixels then you have another one here which is also very interesting which shows you if we are on a specific arc or element in this case we are and if we are we can even see here the index value of it remember this is index 0 1 and 2 so to make sure you understand or see this clearly I'm going to hide the event later on we will need that we save this with only the chart element refresh and now you can see here there you are so when we hover over the arcs you will see here we get information you can see the data set and the index but if you hover over the white space what is happening it shows nothing here so the length equals zero so this is very useful because now it will clearly indicate when are we hovering on a arc as you can see here so well, let me just refresh you will see it it's a clean slate hover go away hover go away hover 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 and there you are you can see here every time when we hover over it it will recognize we are hovering on a specific item so what i want to do here then basically with this i want to grab here now the index so if you see this here you can see here we have here zero and then we see your index the data set index is zero which is correct and you have the index number zero is the red one is zero this is one and this is two so this is all correct so let's get here now the specific item so to do this basically we can say here the length so what i want to do here is the following i'm going to create a very simple if statement and this if statement will say or validate the following we say if the length equals strict one in this case if that is the case i want to show here basically the console log just put that in there save that refresh so if i hover over now you can see here it shows now something but if i hover over the white space it doesn't show anything if i hover here again it shows again and then here it shows again 
and uh, maybe you might not see it because it's just the bar here is starting to get smaller meaning that we're hovering on top of something all right so this shows us but now what i want to do is not only show it i want to get the index value as well so what we do here is the following we're going to say here now because there's only a length of one or basically uh, index zero remember arrays are uh, zero base counting so index zero will be means length equals one so what we're going to do here then if equals one the length which is here showing then we want to grab here basically the item itself so what we want to say here or what we can do here it's just very simple we just can put in here i guess an index uh we say that index and i think we need to do only one this for the zero here indicating save that refresh now I will hover over it, alright, you can see here now index 0, index 1, index 2. So this is beautiful, it shows exactly what we want. And of course besides the index, we might also need the data set. So to get that, well let's look how we get the data set. We save this, refresh, hover, click on this. Here we get now the information and we get here the data set. So the data set here would be, if this is 0, and we say that, if we save this here now and refresh, 0, 0, 0, 1, and it is all correct because the data set is always 0 because we only have one data set. And then here, 0, 1, 2. Beautiful. So what we're going to do now is basically with this, we can start to play around. But what we need now is the event information. We're going to dig deep into the console law. And we need here first the event and I'm going to show you exactly where we're going to grab a certain item. So I'm going to hide these two, we don't need this for now. Later on we'll be using this. Save this. Refresh. Move over here and you can see here a lot of information. So if I click on this you can see here what is the event being registered. It's a mouse move or a, a, uh, a mouse over hoover effect. Then where we need to go is on the native. On the native you can see here the mouse event and once we go in here we have to go down here. I'm going to look here for a term called target. The target is basically where are we focused on? Well, we are hovering on what exactly? On the canvas with this ID here, my chart ID. So this is very important. So within here, we're going to, we can start to play around with the CSS style. So if I scroll down here, you will find somewhere eventually the style. Scroll down, scroll down, somewhere in the S. We have here a uh, slot well, let's click on this. We can see more. There we are. So once you click on the triple dots, it will show you more information. Then you see here the style. And what you can see here now is the style item. And what we really want to do is because just think about it. What do we want to do? First of all, we want to know if we are on the arc. If we are on the arc, we want to change the style of the cursor into a pointer. And that's what we're going to do. Because right now, if you scroll down here, look at for look for a pointer, which is the P. Click on this here, the triple dots. You get all the information here. Then event you see here the pointer. Uh, position pointer event. I need to have here exactly. Or, or sorry, not the pointer. I'm mistaken. The pointer is the term. It's the cursor. That's the one we need. Cursor. The cursor is blank. Meaning it's a default value. We just correct because if you hover over it, it's just default. What we want to do here. If you hover over it and we are on the arc. Then at that very moment we want to convert the cursor into a pointer and a pointer is like a clickable hand so let's do that right now so just to make sure how do we get the history of this or the location watch here native if you hover over it and you don't move anything you see a native dot target dot style dot cursor so that's the tool tip information so we say here, event dot native dot target which is the canvas then we say style because it's a css style but basically we do it now directly in javascript then we say here, cursor. So once we do this, save this, and now if we change this hover, you can see here, it's just blank, because it was blank set. So now, we can just say here, very simple, cut this out, put it in here, and it's an equal pointer. So the moment we do this, save this, refresh, you can see here now, look at the mouse, it converts into a pointer. The cursor is eventually a pointer, but there's an issue here, you can see here, the moment we are out of the canvas, at that moment it converts to a normal default. However, here it triggers this, but it doesn't undo the moment we leave 
the arc, meaning that it doesn't recognize that if we leave the arc, we need to undo the adjustment. So that's what we're going to do now here, just very simple. Another if statement here, if, well, we can just copy all of this, put it in here, we say if equals zero means length is zero, that moment default. So the moment we do this, we can save this, refresh. Now we have this here, and there we are. And this is, of course, very, very nice, because now it shows you we hover over it, and we don't hover over it. It will change instantly. So this works. Let's go now for the one-liner, because now you probably have a fully understood, you fully understand this part. So what I want to do here is a sim simple one-liner. We're going to say the event. Basically, we're going to grab this. We can just grab this one here. We say this cursor. We're going to make an if statement, and in this if statement, we're only going to trigger it the moment if the chart element has a length of one, which would mean that we can say here array zero, which is array zero means the first element, or sorry, array length one. This is basically uh, index zero, which is the first first element. Then, if that is the case, in that or at that moment, if that is true, then convert the mouse cursor into a pointer. If this is false, put it on default. So the moment we do this, we can now comment out everything else. And I guess we can do a semicolon here. Save this. Refresh. And now there we are. So now we have this very nicely. We basically completed a circle. We can click on this. Still a link. There you are. And this is well linked. They're all links. Beautiful. Showing all nicely. Except here as well. Then we hover over it and this. So this is basically the way you can do it. What I want to do here, just if you might wonder, what about donut? So if I save this here, refresh, and let's look at this. See, the moment we click here, nothing happens. But if we click here, we jump to Google. Beautiful. We click here, we jump to chartjs.org. Wonderful. So it recognizes it. So this is basically the way we can do it. And I'm sure we can do something else more. I guess what's, what, would be, what would be fun as well is a final item to put a text in the center would be based on the tooltip information in the Hoover. That will say here, go to this website. That will be another final part of this specific video series.